Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for today's workout. I have a really great low impact indoor walking workout for us here today. We're going to be enjoying the benefits of those cardio health exercises for the mind and that heart along with burning fat and calories. Getting set up for this workout is really simple here today. This is a no equipment workout. So you just need a little bit of floor space to move and some water handy. We're gonna go ahead and start our warm up right now. We're gonna start off here with a light toe stretch to the front. And I want you to engage the arch of the foot just a little bit. Don't get into anything crampy. Open up the front of the ankle here. Get a little bit of swing back with those arms. Now, even though this is a no equipment workout here today, I do have some stuff designed to help us with that upper body muscle strength and toning. And of course, with this being a walking workout, we will be getting the legs and the core here today too. Give me a little more hip pushing forward with that back glute. Stay out of the low back. You might feel a little stretch coming in through the hip flexors. That is great because they are gonna be working today. We wanna make sure they're open. Last one here. Pull it in, let's take this to a calf raise. Arms overhead once the heels are down. your time here, setting a little bit of balance. Let's take two more. And then we're gonna bring the heels to the glutes. I want you to think about this like a butt kick, except we are going to stay narrow, just bringing the heel up nice and slow. You can get a little lean forward and a little bit of a kick back if you need a deeper opening for the front of the hips. Up here, slowly working the knees open, hips open. Try to stay out of the low back. Last one here, and then let's step it back. Press into the ankle and back forward. So pushing the heel down gently to the floor. You have some options if the heel doesn't make it, you can either shorten up that step or just work with where it will reach but you don't have to go back far. We just wanna open up the backs of the ankles. Little bit of arm movement here. Let's take one more set. Bring it in and nice, easy pace march here. We will increase this heart rate slowly as we get into our exercises. So I have a set of really wonderful exercises to work with us here today. There will be some side to side lateral movement. There will be a few options for forward and back movement, but if those do not work for you, you of course have the option to modify those movements and stay in place. And that just doesn't apply to the side to side and forward and back. If any of the exercises here today ring any sort of a warning signals or alarms in your body, feel free to switch them up, slow them down, or just go ahead and substitute in a different exercise completely. We're gonna be working for three rounds here today. And I don't have an exact count of how many exercises we're gonna be doing because each exercise is going to be a compound of two to three exercises rolled into one. So it just really depends on how you count here today. We will be taking 15 sets of those exercises for each round. And if it is a alternating, a double side exercise, we will be taking 30 repetitions, so 15 sets. All right, pick up your pace here. 
we're gonna be starting off with some diagonal steps. And we're gonna slow it down here on this first round. Second and third round will be the opportunity to really dial up your intensity. You'll be familiar with everything and have your modifications figured out. But after you get the hang of the movement here in this first round, you can speed it up from there. So out and forward with that right foot, bicep curl for two, back and tricep extension. Left goes back. Speed it up if you can. Coordinating the arms and the legs at the same time isn't as easy as you might think it would be. You're doing great. We have five more sets here. Final set, and we're gonna take toe taps to the front here. Great job. We'll all meet here, and of course, we are going to switch this up. Two toe taps, two leg lifts. So tap, tap, lift, lift. Work in some arms once you're comfortable. Hang in here. Five more sets. Soften those knees. Final two sets. Last set here. We're gonna tap forward with the left, curl with the right. One, two, back with the right, tricep kick. Great job here. That was a quick transition. It's okay if you missed it. I'm gonna give you that bonus one there. Final five sets here. Two more sets and a little bit simpler. We're gonna go right in two front kicks after this set here. Straight forward, alternating 430. Give me some arms. Four more, two and one. Quick little march. We're gonna tap the leg out to reach those arms over to the opposite side. So arms will go to the right, left leg out, and then we will switch. Start that off here. Okay, speed it up once you've got it. Option for movement. Can you take it forward and back? Forward one more time. Take it back. Hold to that left leg, arms out to the side. Tap that right leg out.
13, 14, 15. Up overhead again. Repeating it. Forward and back, maybe. You can cover a little bit of space or a lot of bit of space. Forward and back. One more time, hold on the back. Drop to that right foot, tap it out, left leg. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. March it out with me here. Great job. If you need a quick little water break, this is a great place to take it. Keep yourself moving. Next exercise here, we're going to be great binding to the left and the right, adding in a baby side kick. If that side kick does not work for you, you can, of course, modify that to a side tap. Bring yourself to the right side of your space. Starting off easy here, great bind to the left, left foot plants, right kick. And speed it up if you've got it. Side tap if you need that modification. Halfway. Some of our exercises today go really quick and some of them a little bit longer. Four more. Last two. And one, hold it wide here. Butt kicks for 30, starting now. It's okay if you got those bonus ones in there. Four more. Two and one, stay wide, arms up. Knee lifts to the side, let's go here. Last four, two and one, side steps, nice and easy here. Four more. We have a one more exercise. Two and one. Leave it wide. Up and in with the right leg, then with the left. Let's keep count here. Last four, two, one. March it out, beautiful job here, okay. 
I knew I was going to really regret leaving my sweatshirt on, but it was so chilly this morning. This is a great place to take your sweatshirt off too. Get a drink of water, towel off if you need it. Please excuse me for just a second. We're gonna start our second round. Okay, let's go here. March it out. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit quicker this time. We're familiar with the exercises. All right, we're gonna step right, bicep curl, back with the left, tricep kick back, 15 sets. Last two sets here. Toe taps to the front are next. Take those here, great job. Working our way in, two toe taps, two leg lifts, start that here. Almost missed it, it's okay if you do. Last two sets here. Hopefully you have found a rhythm with those arms. Oh, it's it. Okay, two toe taps, left leg front, bicep curl, take it, tricep kick back. We're gonna start count here because that first one was a little goofy. Last two sets here. We're gonna take 30 kicks to the front. Final set. Front kicks here, nice and easy for 30. Four more, two and one. Tap it out to the side. Work in those arms opposite direction of your tapping foot. Forward and back, optional. Hold here, in and out, right leg, stay low in the left.
three more. Two and one. Side tap. When you're ready, work in those arms. Forward and back. Hold on the right, tap 15 times, left leg. Stay low in that right leg. Fourteen, fifteen. bring it up, march it out. Beautiful job here. We are almost done with the second round, but this is a great place. If you need a quick drink of water, Bring yourself to the right side of your space. Great bind and side kick. This one is a little bit longer. There is no need to try to rush through it. Focus on stabilizing and working those legs. Let's go here. Side tap if the side kick does not work for you. Four more. Last two. We're gonna end with it over here to the right side, butt kicks for 30. Four more, and we're gonna go into those side knees. Take those here. Four more good ones. Side steps, great job. We've hit the one mile mark on our walk. Last four of these, two and one. Step it wide, up and in with the right, then the left. Four more, two and one. March it out, slow, fast, easy or intense, up to you here. Shake, work anything out that you need to. Grab a quick drink of water. We have one more round. If you are on a bit of a break here, try not to let that heart rate come down too low. 
but you can slow down for just a second here if you need to. All right, I'm gonna see if we can make it to one and a half miles, maybe even more. I definitely think that that is going to be a very easy goal as we work through this third round. So really great workout here today. All right, right foot two to the front with a bicep curl and then take it left foot back, tricep kickback. You are familiar with this. Let's go here. Last two sets here. Toe taps to the front. All right, we're gonna start working in, alternating two toe taps, two leg lifts here. work in some arms. They will find a natural rhythm all on their own. You don't have to force anything. You can kind of play with it too. Sometimes it's fun to experiment. That's how I find a lot of our new moves sometimes, just goofing around. Two more sets here, and we're gonna tap front with the left, back with the right. You ready for that? Let's go here. Final two sets. After this set here, 30 kicks to the front. Let's take that here. Four more, two and one, side taps here. Find the rhythm for the feet first. We will just piece by piece, arms overhead. Add in movement if you would like. Four more, and we're gonna pause on that left leg here, in and out with the right, get low. Two more. Side, tat, working in those arms again, 30 overhead. Start in some movement.
four more. We're gonna hold on the right leg. Here, tap. In and out with the left for 15. Two more and we march. Bring it up here. Great job. Steady pace march. Bring yourself to the right side of your space. We have that great fine. With the side kick, side kick stone arm, you take a side tap. Just lean that torso over so we can work those obliques. Let's go here. Two more. Wonderful job. Bring it back. Butt kicks here. Home stretch. You've got this and three more exercises. Two more. Side knees. You can take dorsal rotation with me if they're getting tired. Four more. Two and one. Side steps here. Four more, two and one, leave it wide, up and in, switch. Great job here. Last four, three, two, and one. March it out with me here. Great job. We are at 1.48 miles. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that there. Okay, we're gonna finish it out. We are going to hit that one and a half mile mark. Move those arms here. Forward and back. Little bit of movement. It doesn't need to be fast. I do want you to kind of start cooling down side to side. Just easy with it, right? Because we hit it. We did it. We hit one and a half miles. A few bonus steps here. Don't hurt. Step side to side. Catch your breath. Leave those legs wide. Hips side to side here. Those adductors worked hard today. I want to stretch them out. Might be a little 
awkward getting into it because there's a lot of moving parts. We'll go through it together. Feet are hip distance or wider apart. Step the right foot forward. Lean the hips over to the left and then push them forward. And you should have a very light stretch here through the front of that left adductor. Turn those toes forward, press back into that right heel. Ease those hips forward until you have a stretch through that lower back leg. What a great workout here today. That first round and the first little run through of the exercises started off nice and easy, I know. Blind back up, send those hips forward and back easy. We'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Shake it out. Left foot takes a step forward. Hips bump to the left, then the left knee forward. Pulling forward into that front right leg until you feel that stretch. Pants are getting away from me a little bit there. <laughs> Turn the right toes forward, left heel back. Beautiful job here with today's workout. So now, Naturally, everyone's pace is different, leg lengths are different, and bless you if you have beautiful long legs. I am not super short, but I am definitely not super long. So stats here today, uh, one and a half miles, so 1.52 miles here. Let's see if it will tell me how many steps that I got. Oh, I'm not able to see that. So I can look deeper into the app there to find that and I'll post it in the description of this video. Roll the wrists, take time here, roll through the ankles and the neck. So I, uh, I don't want you guys to underestimate how effective these workouts are because even though we modify the moves, it's low impact, it's indoors, or sometimes I think even more so with the seated workouts, people kind of like, Foo foo on it and treat them like, um, you know, maybe it's not intense or a really hard workout. And so I always love the proof here when I can show you guys. You walked a mile and a half in 36 minutes. That's amazing. Great job. That is a nice, steady pace. And if you were a little over or a little under, don't sweat it. You worked hard here today. Stretch that body up and open. Take a good deep breath in and then exhale let it all out. You guys are all done for today. Thank you for letting me lead you through another wonderful workout. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and I hope that you are excited to meet me back here for the next workout because I cannot wait to see you guys back here for that. You never know what it will be. It could be cardio, could be mobility, could be seated standing, it could be strength. We cover a wide variety of things here so that you are getting the most out of these workouts and really finding complementary strength, flexibility, balance, and stability through your body. So great job here today. Support yourself with proper rest, hydration, and nutrition. Maybe some extra stretching if that body needs it. I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching.